Woo, hey everyone, this is Daryl coming to you live, live from everywhere, guys. Great time to be live, and we're going to be talking about what's going on with Dogecoin. We can see a huge freaking pump coming in for Dogecoin, and uh, some key resistance levels have been broken for Dogecoin. That is pretty good. Looks like Gary Gensler is in the news. Jeremy Diamond is in the news. Uh, so, guys, we got so much to talk about, guys. So much to freaking talk about. We're seeing that uh, crypto is looking pretty good. Nice pump coming. Guys, don't forget to smash the likes and subscribe. YB, YB. Remember, none of this is financial advice. Just an OG in the house expressing my opinion. Opinion, guys so don't forget to go back and watch all the other freaking videos i would appreciate it guys i would freaking appreciate it guys so let's jump in the content without any further delay guys big news uh coming in looks like the dow jones uh, s p and nasdaq had a nice pump over overnight that is pretty good don't forget here in asia guys uh you know it's nighttime in the u.s also it looks like uh, chinese yuan hits the strongest level against the u.s right now so that is kind of interesting out there if we take a look at what's going on with crypto right now we're seeing that the bitcoin is up 2.3 percent ethereum is up solana is up a whopping 5.66 percent guys so also too we're seeing that bitcoin activity surges as old btc tokens move uh some people are saying that there could be some sell-offs guys i don't think so we're seeing the doge as well doge is pumping right now as well uh, Doge is up right now, almost 2.29%. That is not too bad. And we have gone past our magical 11 cents. So we're going to jump into that, talk more about that in a second. We're seeing crypto bubbles are looking pretty good. We're seeing a lot of the meme meme coins are pumping right now. Bonk is up, Whiff is up, Doge is up, uh, the Pepster is up. It's, it's a great time, guys. Absolutely great time to be alive. We're seeing that uh, Doge right now is up almost 9.6% on the weekly not too shabby not too shabby overall crypto wise we're seeing market cap right now is at 2.2.27 trillion we're seeing the bitcoin dominance right now is at 56.3 nice so overall it's a pretty good day uh, for crypto land bitcoin is up very good uh bnb is up solana's up uh very good uh guys don't sleep on solana remember when i talked about solana uh i think about the three or four months ago solana was like sub 100 guys so that's pretty good xrp is pumping guys some interesting news happening for for xrp we're going to be talking about that doge is up guys so everything's positive positive fear and greed is also good right now people are getting greedy guys so this is a good time to be buying buying the freaking dips guys uh, september is looking pretty good up 8.8 percent .8%. so far despite uh having april and june as negative months we're seeing that uh there's a lot of good stuff happening guys good stuff happening bitcoin exchange balance going down big news justin sec commissioner hester pierce says they are allowing regulated financial institutions to bypass SEC rules, which will allow them to have custody of Bitcoin and crypto. Remember, they put the kibosh on that before. Uh, remember that with the whole uh, uh, Regulation 21. Looks like breaking news. Turkey suspends plans to tax profits from stocks and crypto. So this is very positive for crypto. Nice. Guys, big twist, big turn of events. Justin, JP Morgan. CEO Jeremy Diamond praises the Elon Musk plan for Government Efficiency Commission, calling it a very good idea, guys. So what do you guys think about that? Please comment, guys. Maybe Elon Musk for president. Also, it looks like good news for um, XRP could be coming soon. Robinhood adds three new cryptocurrencies, uh, and this is uh, Uniswap, Stellar, and Tezos. Now, people are anticipating that we could be seeing XRP listing soon, guys. Listing soon, so that is pretty good. Looks like... Uh, you know, Gary Gensler, Big Larry Gensler sucks. Looks like SEC Chair Gensler denies knowledge of anti-crypto operation choke point 2.0. Lawmakers and SEC commissioners alike uh, decried Kessler, uh, Gensler's crypto agenda to his face in a flashy appearance of the agency's full voting body. Guys, yeah. I don't even know how, why Gensler's still in, guys. He's a big crypto Debbie down. Looks like in uh, the love child of uh, Sam Bagman Freed, Justin Carol's, uh, Caroline uh, is sentenced to 24 months in prison in FTX fraud, guys. So look at that face. Like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Still billions, and you're going to get away with it. Like, come on. Come on. So here's the thing. Wake up. Smell the freaking coffee, guys. The most powerful part of Bitcoin's bull run begins. Begins now and uh we're right here we're absolutely right here we could easily see 170k coming in soon guys so beautiful 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 and guys bitcoin bottom 457 days prior to the bitcoin uh having in 2016 but topped in the bull run market 518 days later uh after the 2016 halving bitcoin bottom 550 17 days prior to 2020 halving but topped its bull market 549 days 
uh, after 2020 having. Now, Bitcoin bottom, 517 days, 517 days, okay, uh, before the 2024 having, but may very well top in its bull market in 549 days after the 2024 having, guys. So, guys, we're on the freaking way. We're on the freaking way. Things are going to pump, guys. Uh, look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin right now uh, is worth $1.27 trillion just gingerly, gingerly behind uh, Facebook, the Zuckerberg out there, guys. And guys, did you know that ETFs right now uh, are equal $70 billion? That's 5.185% of all the Bitcoin, 21 million Bitcoin, guys. Amazing, amazing. Uh, looks like uh, Bitcoin's just doing its thing, guys. We've got a nice double D pattern here, a uh, big W pattern. Expect a nice breakout, guys. I think we can see a nice breakout coming to $72,000. Ethereum doing its thing as well. Doja Woja right now is at 11 cents, guys. This is a critical area. We really need to break past this. If we can break past 11 cents, we're going to see a huge freaking pump like never before. 1102, guys. Let's freaking get it. We're seeing the volumes are up. The market cap is up. Nice. 75% uh, of all those coins, those coin holders are in the money, guys. Did you smash the likes? Smash the freaking likes. Show some freaking love, guys. I would appreciate it. And guys, remember, big resistance. I now I posted this earlier before uh, Bitcoin, uh, before Dogecoin hit 11 cents. Big resistance about to be smashed. 11 cents. Dogecoin is about to make a big freaking move, guys. And I believe that Dogecoin is going to make a move, guys. And I think it's going to be something like this. If you think Doge will not make a new all new time high, well, you need to wake the freak up. Not owing any Doge will become a nightmare for many, guys. Dogecoin is going to pump, guys. It absolutely is pumped. This is what happened last time, guys, and we're right here. Do you think history is going to repeat? Oh, yeah, get ready. Doge is sleeping right now, but we're going to see a big pump, guys. If Doge would perform as it did in the first cycle, 2017 to 2018, it will reach, it will reach, one dollar and 55 cents december 9th yellow and seven dollars and 78 cents july 14th next year guys what do you guys think about that guys smash the likes and don't forget if you got your crypto on exchange get it off there get a nano ledger and guys douche breakout retest flip 1008 and the pump is on guys so i believe the pump is on guys and if you're bullish Get Elon Musk. We need you, Elon Musk. We need the Doge Father to get busy, guys. Go back. And uh, don't forget to follow me right here. I appreciate it, guys. So be blessed. Be well. Have a freaking awesome, awesome day out there. Yeah, I love it. You love it. Let's freaking get it. Peace out.